Oh, I hate pop quizzes. That was brutal. Oh, not as brutal as how bad I'm gonna be every one of you this week. That spa day is as good as mine. We'll see about that. That's right. I'm warning you, Becca. You stand between a boy and his bike and I'll show- What? That's what I thought. Laters, everyone. I have to go plan my attack. I mean, my donation strategy. <laughs> Stop trying to lead! I'm leading! No, I should lead! Whoa! Let's go! Okay. You know, in England, we don't have to Really? I've had a really great time tonight. <laughs> You're telling me. First winning the big match, now dancing with you. I'm so glad you asked me. I know you already said that. Did I? I wasn't sure if you heard me the first time. <laughs> and I want you to know I mean it. It's complicated. Mm. It always is. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything at all. Sure. Me too. <laughs> this is all just one big misunderstanding. See. Vice Principal Finkel saw me standing next to a doodle of him in the hallway and, well, just assumed that... He just assumed that you used your purple lipstick to make him look like a clown? Yeah, but how did you know that? And who are you, by the way? Name's Jimmy. I just transferred here from St. Gillian's. Wait, Joe, so you make paninis while you're studying geometry? What? No! That, that doesn't make any sense. Paninis and geometry don't go together. I make my protein shakes when I study my geometry. It makes more sense. Yeah. What big reveal. Are you actually a great god come to life from perfectly chiseled marble? Not that I know of. Oh. I think Beck is still mad at me for being accepted into the foreign exchange program. What? You're leaving on a foreign exchange program? Becca. My love, of all places in Sunnybrook to look for you, I never imagined I'd see you here in study hall. What are you, what are you doing here? It was the only place where I could be alone. It's a burden to be admired and constantly sought out by the masses. Now just leave me alone, Tyler. Something I have to get used to. My love, what, what do you mean? Yeah, right. Come on, you guys. These jokes are for charity. Have a heart. How's everybody doing now? <sighs> so you guys tried that corned beef hash? I mean, corned beef? When do they start making that stuff out of cardboard, am I right? Oh yeah? Well, maybe next time I should just add a little bit more salt. Really? I blow some relatable. Mm, I think it's best to embrace your femininity. Yes, like a lovely little lollipop lady. You, the people, have two very qualified candidates. First, let me introduce you to presidential hopeful, Abby Bracegirdle. Abby is our new foreign exchange student and recently arrived here from England. So let's give it up for my new friend, Abby Bracegirdle. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> Traitor. <clears throat> What's politics without competition? So, breaking news, this just in, a new lady has thrown her hat into the ring. Yep, you heard it here, a fresh-faced exchange student, Abby Bracegirdle. Yeah.